talks about the burning of the heart that you're mentioning, right? So when Jesus on the road to Emmaus, it said he opened the scriptures from Moses through the prophets concerning himself and he went with them and he was going to keep walking, but they begged him to please stay with them and eat in the house. So he went in the house and it says that he went to break the bread and they said, and they knew who he was and he vanished from their sight. They knew who he was in the spirit. That's why he physically vanished from their physical sight. Once we can see who Christ is in the spirit, we stop using these eyes. And now we continue to search him with those other eyes. So it's, and then they said to one of the, each other, it says, didn't our hearts burn within? When? They said, didn't our hearts burn within? When what? When he opened the scriptures concerning himself. So their hearts burned. They knew. What is this that he's saying? They knew. They knew. They accepted everything. That it was just hard for them to understand. And it's no different today. The rhema that was put in the law from Moses all the way through the prophets, they all pointed to Jesus, which means you can only see Jesus with your heart. So when the Bible says that he vanished from their sight, it doesn't say he disappeared. <laughs> like, it doesn't say, or better yet, it doesn't say he like walked away from them is what I mean. <laughs> he didn't walk out of the house. No, no, no. He vanished from night. Why? Because they could spiritually see who he is. So when we spiritually see where he is, when we can see that, that's the only way you can see that is through the rhema. The black letters on the white page are not showing you Jesus. The black letters on the white page is what Jesus is using because we, our physical eyes has to first see something. He has to, that part has to be shown. But while we're reading it, it's a melody. The entire Bible is notes. It's musical notes. And there's only one instrument that knows how to play it. And it's the heart of God, who is Christ. Jesus is the heart of God. And he is the only one that can play the melody. And that's why he says, for those that have ears to hear, let them hear. So when the trumpet sounds, only those that have ears to hear are going to hear what they need to hear. Everybody will hear but it will be only just a trumpet to those that have that don't have ears to hear. But to us that have ears to hear, it'll be a very specific melody that we cannot deny. We'll recognize the melody. But a carnal-minded person, a person who is not saved, they'll only hear a trumpet noise. But to us, it will be a very distinctive melody. And the Bible plays the melody over and over again and it's the gospel it's the good news and it will be proclaimed that day in that trumpet and we will know exactly what is being said it will be no odd noise to us but to the flesh will be a very odd noise but to us who have eyes to see and ears to hear it will not be odd it'd be a very recognizable melody and when david when the bible tells us that david played the harp when a when the evil spirit messed with saul the entire Bible is the heart of God. It was the gospel. Only the gospel soothes a man when he is being bothered by an evil spirit. Only the gospel. There is no other sound. There is no other melody. There is no other name that brings peace. Mm -hmm. Only the Prince of Peace.